But yeah, what would you say to me, like a new agent, for getting into like social media? I've heard I've heard you talk about it before. Oh, love I like mean, love this direction. Like, would you advise it? Like, would you advise it for a new agent, or just hammer down on like cold calls and and letters right now? What is it that you want? to happen on social media what do you want i mean here's the thing with social media you can use it to do anything you want in the world anything anything it's crazy you can literally use social media to do anything you want right so what do you want to use social media to do to attract more clients like like exposure okay okay but anthony do you yeah. understand the depth of the question? Clients is such a general broad term. You got new, you got first time home buyers, you got trade up sellers, you got baby boomers, you got, um, you got uh, a lister, you got people that list, you got property owners, you got 55 and uppers, you got uh, commercial, you got like, well, you can't just say, I want to get clients. You know what I'm saying? Tell me who, tell me what you want to happen. Well, I, I kind of was like asking, like, do you think it's something worth doing as a as a young agent? Like, or because like, I don't really want to like be posting videos like, like you know, I'm kind of introverted, but I, I like making the cold calls. But like going on, uh, you know, like posting stories and stuff and videos, I, I kind of feel like it's a little out of my comfort zone, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I don't know if you're. What what your what your thoughts would be on like on that yeah. getting into that? So again, it depends on what I want to happen. I think that I know people that do that make that that sell tens of millions and even hundreds of millions off of YouTube and Instagram and Facebook, mm -hmm. right? Um, and you know what they all tell me? Ninety nine percent buyers. Their, their, their business is 99% buyers, okay? So the first question is, would you rather have 30 active listings or 30 active buyers? Right listings. now, if they, if they fell in your lap, would you rather have 30 active buyers with no leverage, no leveraging other agents, only working your ass off for that, that buyer, running around, trying to do all the work, or would you want 30 listings in which you are leveraging yourself and each listing you're leveraging every agent all the thousands of agents in your market to sell that listing and if one of those thousands of agents sells that listing then you make the money would you rather have 30 of those or 30 buyers where you're the one running around town showing the properties you see we're all going to make money at seven o'clock at night it's just a matter of are you going to be at the one at the house eating dinner with your family, chilling without a worry in the world because eight of your 21 listings are being shown, right? Or are you going to be the one out there showing the properties? Why? Because you're making YouTube and Instagram videos every day. See what I'm saying? So we all have this yeah. choice yep. to make. Now, can you get listings on social? Yes, you can get listing on social. Yes. A million percent. But like, this is why I said, what do you want to happen on social? You know, like we have to have a, a, a direct goal that we're shooting for here. And we have to understand what the process looks like and what all the possibilities could be. You know, it's so funny because there's all kinds of ads on YouTube and Facebook. I see all these ads from all these coaches trying to coach trying to get you to buy their program on you know you know being a real estate agent on youtube and getting facebook leads and stuff like that it's like they're setting you up to have to run around town at 24 hours a day you know chasing these buyers around um yeah okay so you know you, you got to think about that right Let's take one step back for a second, okay, and think about what the foundation should be. The foundation of your social media strategy needs to be a weekly email. What do you do, Andrew, when you get on, uh, Anthony, when you get on social? What's, what's the motion that you make? You're holding your phone. What, what, what's the physical motion that you make? Like swiping. 
Yeah. When you open up your email, what's the motion you're making? Yep, swiping. It's the same thing, bro. Email is social media. Social media is email. It's a feed that you look at and scroll through and see if anything jumps out at you. The only difference is your followers, a.k.a. the people you send the email to, 90% of them see it every single time. Versus social media, you only have, you know, whatever, hundreds or a couple thousand people that come into your, 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 your social media world every two or three weeks. They're there for a while in your world. They see your stuff, and then they don't see you anymore because the algorithm stops showing it to them versus having the email, right? Seven years later, they're still getting that email, seeing it every single week. You see what I'm saying? It's the same thing yeah. except for this is your database versus that's not your database. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Now, just working through the process here with you, man, because I don't think you really understood what kind of question you asked. Yeah. Okay. You 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 have you have to you have to continue to break this thing down and understand what it is that Anthony wants. Okay. Well, you said you'd you'd like to have thirty active listings versus thirty active buyers, right? Yeah. So 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 we have to put the full package together. Okay. We know that listings come from relationships with sellers. So we have to have a mechanism in place where we're what? Having conversations with sellers that we do and don't know to build more relationships, nurture the ones that we have. We have the weekly email in place. We have the weekly email in place where they never forget who we are. And then what do we do? We sprinkle the social media on top of all that. Right? And yeah. so and so what how does the social media help you get listings? Okay? The way social media helps these guys get listings, kind of, kind of more so, it's the impressions they get on their on their profiles that impresses their sellers at listing appointments. Right, make really engaging, great content that gets a lot of views, and then at your listing appointment, say, "Hey, across all my platforms, I'm getting over a hundred thousand views a month." I'm going to push your property on my platform. That's more than just an agent putting their, putting your property on MLS. I'm doing that, plus I'm exposing it to 100,000 people on my platforms. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, more, it's yep. more so than like getting leads directly from the platform as much as using the platform as a leverage point, you know, of the, of the, the audience that you built to show your seller, hey, I have an extra audience more than other agents that I can, you know, push your property on. I pushed this listing last week on there and we sold it in three days. Maybe it sold because you put it on social. Maybe it didn't, right? But you can say, hey, I got a listing last week. It sold in three days and I, 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 I posted it on Instagram. I did a nice video about it, you know, the first day and we sold it in three days. Um, so it's stuff yeah. like it's uh, things like that. Um, so it's it's really just a sprinkle on top is what you were saying it, for me because it's, why because i i want to be listing heavy right yeah i, I don't I, you know it i don't mind trying to use it to get a buyer for my listing but i don't want a flood of buyers coming in because i only have so many hours in a day i don't want to spend those hours that i'm actually spend having conversations with prospects with people that already own property yeah, you know, I'm gonna let all the other agents on YouTube kind of field all those buyers that are relocating to the area and first-time home buyers, and and they'll get some sellers. They'll get some people that are wanting to trade up. They will get some sellers, but I would I would rather focus on what I feel like is the most efficient, you know, which is talking to property owners. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that, that yeah, that was awesome. Thanks, Ricky. I appreciate cool. it, and uh. Also, one more one more quick thing, if you don't mind. Uh, like, it's kind of a touchy subject, like around my area, though. Um, so like sometimes I'll call homeowners, and uh, they'll ask like, because of what's going on in my area, like, oh, is it a is it a Jewish buyer? Okay. Well, like I just want to know what what you would say to someone like that. that I never says got that hit. because. It, it's are they saying yeah. it in a derogatory way like 
we're not going to sell to Jewish buyers or are they saying it like, God, I'll only sell to a Jewish buyer? Yeah, like they'll only they'll only sell to people who aren't. Okay. Or or like they you just, just work it know. how you can, man. Yeah. You just work it how you can. Yeah. Um, I'd have to think about that, man. I don't know how I would handle that. If somebody asked me that, I think I would almost I th my initial reaction is is I'm not allowed to say number 1. Right. That that's my like initial, like if somebody said it, I was in spur of the moment, like it caught me off guard. I would say, I actually can't say, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not allowed to say. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I think I would go straight to my broker and say, Hey, this person asked me this and I want to make sure I'm not breaking any like discriminatory fair housing type problems here. You know what I mean? I want to handle this. Yeah the best way I can um, to where number one, you don't get in any kind of problems. You may want to just not talk to that seller anymore. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like you, yeah. like it, you can't even really move forward with that seller anymore because it's like, they're going to, they're going to discriminate for you. Yeah. That, that's you know? what I've been doing too. Like I'll, I'll mark them if they say something. Cause it's like, it's, it's kind of like I'm, I'm new. So to like, like I'm two months. You know what in, I would so say? Like, I would I would start having a line. This is not the line I would say, but I would come up with a really good line to hit them when they as soon as they say that to make them feel like an ass. You know, I'd be like, no, they're not yeah. Jewish, yeah. but but I'm not working with you, and and hang up on them. You know, like something like that that just makes them feel yeah. horrible, and just move on. Yeah. All right. <sighs> Thank you, Ricky. Cool, bro. Um, we're over the time, but Chris and Andrew still have their hand up. So let me hit you two guys if we could be really quickly. Go ahead, yeah, hey, Ricky, uh, real quick. Um, hopefully this hasn't been answered. I've been kind of in and out, but I sent out my first hundred letters and I got two listing appointments for tomorrow, uh, which is amazing. And um, just kind of curious, like with the listing preso. So my understanding is I kind of just want to go out there, make friends with the seller, have a great conversation. I'm out there for my buyers, putting together information on the property, getting their motivation and, um, you know, maybe taking a video tour at the end of my showing of the property. And then I'm going to come and I, and I also sounds like from earlier in the call, want to set them up with the like, Hey, you know, I, my fee is 5%. And just so you know, if we end up going on market, I want to honor that for you as well. And then I kind of want to come back later. Can you go over like how that call would go where you're like, Hey, you know, showed it to my buyers. Um, and, you know, if they don't want to see it in person um, or, you know, if I do take them out in person, like how would that call go ideally? What What do the buyers want to do in this hypothetical situation? Um, in this hypothetical situation, the buyers aren't interested in the property. So I'm trying okay, to convert yeah. it for the listing. I would say I, would say I, I showed it to them. And, 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 and obviously they're not going to be interested for a reason. Right. They, they don't okay. like the square footage. They didn't like the age. They didn't like the color. They didn't like the, 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 the location in the subdivision. There's going to be something there. Right. So I want to give that feedback to the seller. And I'm just going to say, Hey, they're not interested. I'm going to say they're not interested because of this. Right. Which, you know, how people are, you know, whatever, I'm still looking for them for something. Um, as I, uh, as we talked about, you know, I'm still going to honor my commitment. Right? You don't even really dive into it right then. You kind of sit back, right, and see how they respond to that. Okay. That's what you do. You say, hey, here's what the buyers said. They didn't like the this. They didn't like the that. So, you know, we're still looking around for them, you know. So okay. I hate it, but that's kind of how it went. And then just see what they say, right? Just see how they respond to that. You know what I mean? Um, they could respond with, you know, well, we do want to sell. Let's talk about putting it on the market. Um, they may, and you may have already talked about this with them. You know what I'm saying? Like you might, you guys may have already come up with a game plan with how it's going to go. If the buyer, so that's the next thing is some of these, you, like the seller starts talking to you and you guys start game planning about what's happening after the buyer doesn't buy it. The deeper you can get into those game plans of what y'all are going to do. If the buyer doesn't buy the better, that way we okay. know what the next steps are going to be. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, you just sit back, see what they, um, see what they're thinking, 
how they respond, and then kind of go from there. And then you always have in the back of your pocket, you know, listen, like I said, I'm going to honor, you know, the discounted rate, you know, if you want to go to market. And honestly, if we did, I feel like we'd sell it pretty quickly. Okay. You know, then you start applying a little pressure, right? Remember guys, 95% low pressure, 5% high pressure. That's when you start applying the 5%. <laughs> But you'll okay, get perfect. Once you fill out a lot of these calls and get in a lot of these situations, you'll have it down. It's just a matter of just putting yourself in this, these situations as often as possible. Definitely. Thank you, sir. Cool, bro. Andrew. Hey, uh, I appreciate you coming back to me. Um, back to kind of what Anthony was talking about before that social media thing. I mean, I, uh, I'm not like the best with social media myself. I really don't know exactly like what content to create, what to do. And I don't want to spend tons of time on it. It seems like the calls and the letters, that's the most important part. Is there some program or something out there that says this is kind of how you create stuff or, you know, where would you kind of direct us to how to do social media for those of us who are just, you know, not content creators? Um. Well, I mean, <laughs> there again, bro, here, here's Here's another question that I don't, I don't think you realized how deep it really is. Um, I could go, I, well, this could be a whole session. All right. And we'll do a session on social guys. Absolutely. Um, but uh, where, how, where you go with like starting out to create content in the beginning? That's the question, right? How do you create content in the beginning? Right. I'm just, I guess, basically, I want to get some stuff out there so that, like, when people Google search me, they'll just say, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, he's got a lot going on on Clearwater Beach or whatnot, and they'll just see a bunch of stuff, but I don't want it to be ridiculous. Like, I tried myself, like, driving around, tried some drone shots, some silly stuff, but, like, I mean, I, dude, I just, I don't have a following or anything, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just not, I I don't even, and the really sad thing is I don't look at, so I found you on YouTube and stuff, okay. but I don't really... So, Play with social a lot so it, myself. Goes, it goes back, Andrew, it goes back to the same question. What do you want to happen? You just want people when they Google you to, to see your social medias? That's what you want? I feel like it adds, I, I feel like if they get somehow directed back to my awesome website or something, I, I want the seller to have more confidence in me. So well, when they meet website, me. Well, the first question is about creating content and now you're talking about a website. Website's already out there. Website's right. awesome. Yeah. I, I want people to Google me and say, okay, there's a, there's everything I see about this person looks awesome. I want to, I want to list with them, you know? So, so when I arrive now, they've seen, they've seen some things about me and they already love me basically. But your website's there and your website pops up when they Google you, right? Uh, it should soon. The website's definitely there. Web and eight just did it. They finished it last week. Um, I mean like, okay, let me Google me. Let me Google me. Let me see. Let me Google me. Google me. Google me. What comes up when I Google me? Instagram's the first link. YouTube's the second link. My real estate website's the third link. LinkedIn's the fourth link. Twitter. Facebook, Zillow, videos on YouTube, my books. It's, yeah, I think if somebody Googled your name without even clicking on his links, they would be like, damn, I want to listen this, with that guy. I can't believe this. This is crazy. I haven't done this in a long time, but literally like every, all the very first links are literally just my social media. Is that that's never, I've never seen that before in my life. Wow. Instagram, YouTube, my real estate website. This is crazy. Twitter, LinkedIn. That's, that's insane. Google's getting their shit together. It used to be all kinds of stuff. Like all this stuff down here is what used to pop up at the top. Wow. This is insane. Yeah, but look how much content I've put out. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of videos, you know, over the past decade, you know? Um, if you're just wanting Google 
people to see stuff you're doing? You want people to see videos of you when you when they Google you? Sure, videos, whatever. Just just something to make them feel confident in listing their property with me. Do you have a YouTube? Not really, no. I mean, it's I've done some like pictures of how. Not really. It's it's just uh, videos of past listings. That's pretty much it. Andrew Cherry Real Estate. Is it? Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty much non. I mean, I've done very little, honestly. I I was in commercial before and kind of got out of that, and now the side hustle is like full time. So I want a a bigger presence on the residential, you know. Okay. Let's see. Let's do this. But but just to clarify, I was I was an analyst. I wasn't you know the sales guy. Andrew Cherry, are you in Tampa? Yeah, Tampa and Clearwater Beach both. Okay, yeah. so like I just typed in Andrew Cherry and like it's the first thing, Andrew Cherry Realtor, Tampa, Florida, right? You're over this doctor in, in Hollywood, like all this other stuff, dude. You literally came up as the first, okay? If somebody typed in. So that that right there, that you're the first thing that comes up when it's Andrew Cherry. I didn't even put real estate. I just put Andrew Cherry. And the fact that you're the first thing that <laughs> pretty much accomplishes your mission of people feeling like you're somebody right then. Then they got realtor.com. They got your Zillow with five, 10, 10, five star ratings, LinkedIn, realtor, next door. I mean, what else would you want? That's a, that's a shit ton. I mean, this is I mean, there you are, dude. Like, you got it. Somebody Googles you. Shit, it does say permanently closed, though. I think I'd. Yeah, I've been working on that. I have not been able to figure out how to make them like work on work on that. Understand, part. I uh, leased out that or whatever. Anyway, yeah. dude, like, if you want to make videos, you just got to start making them, man. So just make would, some, make a video, do something once a day, and just hit that post once a day, and not yeah, worry about it. I would, I would do, uh, I would do short form. You know, just reels. Try to make them exciting, um, personality wise. You don't have to do like any crazy editing, just personality. And then, um, yeah, just just post, just post. You know, and then you'll get better as you go. It's a that's a deep subject, man. We'll we'll dive into it more and more. I know you want awesome. to do a one on one with me, so I'll, I'll make I'm going to make that happen, and we'll dive into it more. Cool. I really, I really appreciate it. And yeah, so maybe we do social media three, four weeks out. I know it's not the focus, but uh, yeah, I appreciate it, man. Absolutely. Okay. Is it Christy? Hey, thanks. Hey. Um, uh, yes, Christy. Um, so my thoughts are just in what you're, I want to kind of get feedback from you for using social media just for this program um, is um, using all the email addresses that we get in face, you know, in our, from using Red X and then any communication we have with people and then keeping that database together where then we're just adding it to our Facebook target marketing. So that way, when I do a video on just sellers or anything to do with seller or market update, then it automatically goes to their news feed in Facebook. So that's kind of how I was looking to use Dude, social yeah. media with this uh, program. A hundred percent not i mean we could do regular videos where everybody sees but this is just like target marketing so that way they're getting the letters from me mm -hmm. they're getting the phone calls from me then all of a sudden i'm all showing up randomly on their news feed um, there, there's so much stuff we just it's just hard to go into i mean we could there's literally a rabbit hole. i know i'm bringing up a rabbit hole here but I mean, just could, as far could, as social media that's where i was kind of um uh like the package with red x that they're doing the uh you know, yeah, I just get... upgraded that yesterday with your, I told them that you're, you know, with your, and, and upgraded yeah. that, so I covered everything that was. So when you guys, when you guys call, you have to call Red X and they'll still give you the Cyber Monday deal mm -hmm. uh, just for my students. But like with that, you get all their products for 300 a month, um, but you get ad builder here. An ad builder, you literally create an ad right here on their platform. You don't go into Facebook. You create it right here and you send it out to your database on Red on Red X. Mm -hmm. It's like if you're if you're picking out like if you're getting the 7,500 property owners every month and 
you're getting like 10 years of expires and all that. Like you can literally run ads and just run an ad for like $2 a day or something. Right. And that, that stays, on- and that stays in front of all the people that's in that's that, that Radex uh, account. That's a whole lot easier. <laughs> what's that? That sounds a whole lot easier. Just when, on what the oh, it is, is. it yeah, is. And then, I you know, every do single whole- dollar you spend is going, is getting in front of the exact person you're trying to do business with, as opposed to, um, you know, when you run ads normally, you're running ads to like the whole like demographic of a region or whatever, right? You can do the target marketing where you put their email addresses in and you build a database within Facebook where it actually goes, but it's a lot more manual work, which is what well, that, that, that's what I'm that's why I'm bring, bringing this up. And I was going to bring this up and do a training on it, but it's like one step at a time here. I'm just working you guys through the letters and then, you know, filled in the calls and it's like, you know, we're already an hour and a half in. It's supposed to be an hour call and stuff. But um, but yeah, that 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 ad builder makes it so simple because you're just targeting the exact people and do business with that you're calling and sending the letters to. And now they're seeing you on social, right? And it's kind of a full and you know, it you run it for like two dollars a day. I mean, that's all you really need because it's a small audience, you know, and so it it hits them quite often. So anyway, guys, I do gotta run. Yeah. Um Thank you guys, you know, so much for being silver members. We're committed to building this group to thousands of agents, going on vacation with you guys once a year, having our big conference. Gold Bar Live is going to be uh, amazing. It's going to be in New York, February 29th. Ryan Serhant, Josh Altman, myself, Juan, several others. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be about 1,200 people on Times Square. So definitely come see us. It's going to be our first big, like, our, our conference. And we're going to do a big one like that every year to get together with you guys in person, wherever the va- we're going to start working on where we want to go on a vacation and invite you guys all there and all hang out at the pool and um, really make this one of the highest producing largest groups of agents ever. That's kind of our goal. So, and you guys can all be affiliates of gold bar and make 20% of the hundred bucks and just sign up all your friends. You guys can all have that. You can get your own link and stuff. So if you want that, just DM Juan and he'll make sure he gets you your link or whatever if you want to share it with some friends and stuff. But help us help us grow it. Help us build it, especially if you're in here and you feel like, damn, this is a lot of value. And this is why, guys, I switched it from free to pay because I was like, I'm tired of like giving all this, all these goods away to people who don't appreciate it because they didn't appreciate it. And I, and, I, and I was just sick of it, man. I'm telling you. I was just ready to ready to talk to the people who really appreciate it and are going to take it and actually do something with it um, outside of people who just hear it, you know, and just, you know, still hate on uh, whatever. Um, but anyway, I love you guys. I got to roll. Uh, I'll be back next Monday at the same time. I'll let you guys know in the on the platform exactly what the topic's going to be. Um, and uh, yeah. Till then, uh, DM me on the platform if you guys have any questions. Also, Instagram, I'm still answering all my messages there. And we'll see you guys on the next call. Crush it this week and let us know if you get listings so we can put you on the leaderboard. I-35 with the top down, quit to tell a hater they should get like me. Seem like everybody want to be the boss, but it costs and these lames ain't like me. Drop a 